to thank the Greenleaf uh, group for inviting me to, uh, to address you. Um, let me tell you a little bit about, uh, first, about how I got involved in this. Uh, it, so I agreed to, uh, to write a book. Uh, it was published by uh, Harvard University Press. It was called Marijuana Reconsidered. It was published in 1971. Now, I came away from that experience, uh, and I worked very, very hard on this book to get it out by a certain time, um, I came to the conclusion that while marijuana was not a harmless drug, there's no such thing as a harmless, completely harmless drug, uh, the greatest harm from it, it was certainly much less harmful, not in the same uh, uh, order of magnitude as alcohol or tobacco, two drugs which were so freely available that, in fact, the greatest harm from marijuana was in the way we, as a society, were dealing with it. We were arresting 300,000 young people every year, and most of these people for mere possession. Now, I have to tell you, in the book I predicted that the prohibition would be gone in 10 years. Uh, so as a prognosticator, and much of what I'm going to say to you is prognostication, So I, just so I warn you about that, you know, all the people who are arrested and, and uh, brought to court and so forth and so on. Uh, it, it, the situation is truly um, outrageous. Well, the thing that I...